Hey guys, long time no video. Um, so, sorry that I've been gone for, sorry I haven't uploaded anything for the past week. Um, like, I was here yesterday at my dad's house, but I had a little bit of family stuff going on. Um, but, um, wait, this wasn't the spider I want to take. Well, this is the spider you want to take to the shortcut, but I want to fight this trainer there. Um, anyways, um, so like, I don't know if I can do some gaming videos on, um, On the, um, on the days I'm with my mom's, like, I'm with my mom Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and I'm here at my dad's house Thursdays, Fridays, and every other Saturday, and I'm with him this Saturday, so I think Wednesday will be, um, the dad day, the days I'm with my dad will be easiest. And also, I'm thinking about cutting Pokemon battles, so let me, excuse me, just a minute. Okay, I'm back, um, so this guy had a level 12 Caterpie and a level 12 Weedle. Anyways, um... And also, off screen, in case you didn't see that video, um, I was training my Pokemon some more, and the egg hatched, which turned out to be a Togepi. And I did make a video of that, because I thought you guys might want to wanted to see that. And all my Pokemon are at level 16, except for Wooper. This guy had a level 7 Weedle, a level 9 Cocoon, and a level 12 Beedrill. My Wooper is now low on health, so I'm gonna run to the Pokemon Center in just for just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, so um, when I was off screen, um, training my Pokemon and then the egg hatched. Um, I did catch a Slowpoke off screen, and seen so, you know, over here. Um, okay, so this these trainers here will be our first. Um, this will be our first time battling two trainers at once. And when you battle two trainers, um, you're also going to use two Pokemon. See? And so, um, and at the bottom of the screen, um, when you select a move to attack, you also have options whether of which Pokemon you want to attack. And anyways, um, excuse me for just a minute. Alright, that battled those trainers. Um, hang on, I'm gonna switch Pokemon real quick since Wooper's at level 16. Um. Okay. Okay, these switches here, it's like a pattern or something. So let's pull this switch down. And... Hey, wait, no, I want to battle that trainer. Hang on, I want to battle that trainer. There's one trainer that I have not battled yet. So, I'm not gonna... Hang on, just a minute. Pull it back up. Oh, maybe I was supposed to hit the blue switch before... Um, when I was over there. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> All this guy had was, um, a level 13 Paris. And I believe our next opponent is our is the gym leader, so I'm gonna head to the Pokemon Center real quick, and then we'll face the gym leader. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see. Um, skip the phone camera for now. Alright, pull the switch down. And... Oh, wait, no, no, no. <sighs> Whoops. I wasn't supposed to do that, because it would just take me to this trainer. Because when you pull a switch down, these bar thingies, whatever they are, come down, and you can't cross them when they're down. Let's see, um... Let's see, I believe we pull this switch down? Yes, we do. And then this switch. Oh yeah, and then the gym. The gym leader. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to Bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority of on Bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I have learned from my studies. Okay, so... I believe Bugsy is a really challenging gym leader to face. 
let me tell you. I was doing some practice off screen facing the gym leader. Yeah, practice. I was like, well. <clears throat> oh, I have a feeling. And I and this and this scyther has a citrus berry. Let me show you. So when it gets depending how low the health is, see? Citrus berry. But I believe one more ember should do it. Because, like, when I was practicing off screen. Oh, great! She's gonna use a super potion. Yep, I knew it. She used a super. She used. I knew she was gonna use that. And, and her Scyther's quick attack is very strong. See how strong her quick attack is? Well, uh, let's see if I can go first with my quick attack. <sighs> my Syndic. My Quilava's done for. That's great. Um, let's send out Wooper next. <sighs> Let me tell you, this... This gym leader can be really challenging, I'm not gonna lie. But hey, I defeated her Scyther already. I think I'm gonna switch Pokemon to Pidgey. So like Scyther, um, um, I believe is one of her Pokemon at the highest level of hers, while the rest are at level 15. And I believe the Scyther, like, like, she just sent out a Metapod, and her last Pokemon is going to be. Um, um, Kakuna. And I've always thought, and the way I see it, like, I don't think Kakuna Pokemon are really, you know, not as strong, because, like, they're in a cocoon, and, like, and in the wild, you know, like, like, Kakuna Pokemon really, you know, don't even know a lot of moves. Oh, I think one more gust should do it. Um, poison sting? Is it gonna poison my Pidgey? Nope. Looks like the victory is mine! Yes! I won! Our second gym leader beaten. Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon! My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. I received the Hive Badge from Bugsy. Do you know the... Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle, too. Here, I also want you to have this. TM89, huh? That contain, um, contains U-Turn. It lets your Pokemon attack, then switch with the next Pokemon on in your party. Isn't that great? I guess so. Anyways, let's go back. Um, okay, gotta figure out this pattern going back. Um, <laughs> alright, um... I'm, I, I guess I'm still filming because, like, I'm trying to show you guys how to get back, you know? And for this, um, I'm sure you guys can figure out the rest. See you in the next video.